Hey y'all, hey, hey. I'm not at home. I am on the river right now. I'll show y'all. Literally. On the river. Minding my business. Let me set y'all back. Ah. Let's see. I'm back with another video, y'all. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Crystal. And if you are back, welcome back. I um, wanted to come with another video. I am not at home. I needed to get out and away. <laughs> um, I wanted to talk to y'all right quick about maintaining and how I'm maintaining my weight. My weight loss. I lost 100 pounds. I, um, I just weighed myself today. I am 141 pounds. I was 139, like, excuse me, like a week or so ago, but you know how that, that works. A couple pounds here or there. But I wanted to come and talk about maintaining and how I maintain it. Um, the reason why is because I asked myself this and I'm pretty sure some people are asking themselves how is it after okay I lost weight and you get a little nervous even if you haven't lost a lot it's like ooh, how am I maintaining this because you'll find yourself going going pushing hard just to get the bulk weight off and I totally get it you know what I'm saying and then you're asking yourself like well what can I do like what 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 will happen after I get all this weight off will I have to go this hard you know and then you may have seen other people um and it's like wow how are they maintaining so I'm gonna come with the raw truth um that's why I don't watch anybody I mean as far as like trying to do or implement what other people are doing because it's a lifestyle change you won't have to do too much to maintain because you have to just stay consistent. Um, maintaining, in my opinion, is how is basically mean um, how to stay like maintaining your consistency. The reason why I say that is because I can come on here and tell y'all, okay, I do this, I do this, I went through what I eat, and I told y'all how I change it up. If I go out to eat, I'll pick a healthier option. Here and there, I'll have little, not even a cheat meal. I'm not cheating. I'm eating what I want. But I'll have something like some ice cream or donuts or something. Or not even really donuts no more, but more so like an ice cream or something. Um, And like I said, I don't cut sugar totally out of my diet, but I've cut 80%, 85%. I'll say 85 to 87% of sugar out of my diet. And the rest of it comes with little bits of sugar here and there that may be in something. Like I said, unless I have that ice cream. But maintaining to me is how, is basically how do I stay consistent when the weight is off when I don't need to get that weight off anymore. And it could be overwhelming. But see, you got to remember it's a lifestyle change. Um... I've seen, I know somebody right now, a male, he's in his 40s, and this guy has, like he's, several years ago, had started going to the gym, working out, you know, was looking nice, looking good or whatever, lifting weight, he was working, he started working there at the gym that he was at, and, you know, it was great, but then life hit, reality hit. That's when maintaining comes in. Being consistent isn't maintaining. It's just being consistent. But there's times that you have to maintain that consistency. You know what I'm saying? I'm being consistent. It's really not maintaining. Some people will argue about the word choice. But if you really think about it, it's like, well, why are so many people falling off or stopping or gaining the weight back? 
they're not consistent. They're not maintaining the consistency. They may work out a little bit, then they find themselves slacking, then they find themselves doing this and that and that. They're, they get wish-washy in their consistency. Why? It has nothing to do with sugar. It has nothing to do with, with exercising unless you just totally quit or totally give up on your diet. What that has to do with usually, and I know as a black woman in America, I could definitely speak this for a lot of us. The, the crap that we are hit with on a daily, the crap that we are hit with weekly, monthly, yearly, whether it's death, whether it's illness, injuries, you're no good husband, man, you know your kids, getting on your nerve, your job. That is the reason why a lot of people cannot maintain consistency. That is the reason why a lot of people give up. I listen to some people online, and I mean, I don't listen to them, I just hear them saying well people are giving up because their diets oh get the hell out of here if you've been losing weight it ain't got nothing to do with your diet life is hitting us a bad breakup can knock you back especially a divorce getting pregnant having a kid you know what i'm saying so that's when the maintaining has to come in and step in and it has to come strong because guess what it's a lifestyle change that you have to maintain through trials, tribulations, death, you name it. Can't pay your mortgage, can't do this. That is called maintaining the consistency. That's when you have to learn to maintain it. If life is going to happen, somebody going to pass away. Somebody going to get sick. Somebody going to lose a job. The economy going to go down. Your mortgage, your rent. Look at what happened with COVID. Look at how many people fell off during COVID, during the pandemic. You know what I'm saying? And their weight loss journey or or they're just their health and fitness just dropped. You know what I'm saying? So for me, maintaining is how do I stay consistent through life's journeys, through life's, you know, when, when shit hit the fan. When I'm doing good and I'm okay and everything is okay, I'm just being consistent. That's good. You're being consistent. You're up. That's what we're seeing on YouTube and Instagram. They not telling y'all how they have to fight. They not showing y'all how they binging at night. They not showing y'all that. They not showing y'all they eating whatever the hell they want. And then just going to the gym and picking it back up. Because of muscle memory. Let me tell you how I stay consistent. Or maintaining I had to maintain back in June, June 3rd, a couple months ago, June 3rd, 2024, three days before my grandfather's funeral, he was 96 years old, and I took my daughter to Sky Zone. My cousin drove her car, she she had her son, and then there, my other two cousin kids came, right? It was a part of my daughter's birthday because her birthday was May 21st, but that was a couple days after my grandfather passed. So we had a little something for her, but then on June 3rd, we took her. That was a Monday. I just, I wasn't trying to do anything. I'm not an acrobat. I was just jumping. And I came down so hard on my left foot, came down and it went, Oop. I all but broke my ankle or my whole foot. It even went up the side of my leg a little bit. It hurt so bad. I was I could not work out for the month of June. So you know that's when maintaining had to step in. How do I maintain through this injury when I can't work out? Y'all, I was hopping around the house. I didn't go many places because my foot was huge. And you know, it take a while, a couple weeks, because depending on how bad it is, to put the swelling to go down. Um, and so, I got to the point to where I would have to pee so bad, I would just come out of my room and get on the floor and hurry up and crawl down to the hall to the bathroom. It didn't bother me. Y'all know what kept me going? Looking in the mirror, knowing how, how far I had came. Um... I was hopping, I was skipping. I couldn't get on a treadmill. I couldn't do anything. But guess what? I could lay down. I could lay back. I could sit on the floor. I could do ab work. I could do upper body. 
Even on the days that I didn't want to, the days that I didn't feel like it. So y'all know how I maintained my diet. My body paid me back well, and I am grateful. That's what being consistent does when it's time to come down to maintaining. And that consistency might be wish-washy. You got to learn how to maintain. And it's different things happen. You have to maintain through that. That is what's, that's what I call maintaining. Um, I hadn't had protein shakes really almost since February, y'all. That is how far along I had came with my diet and my workouts to where I didn't even eat a lot of protein shakes no more. I was craving food. I wanted big meals. Not unhealthy meals, I wanted meals. I hadn't even touched protein shakes in a while since around the end of February, March. For real. And I am not making that up. Um, And I was like, wow. But that's when I went back to the protein shake. Because it's like, I can't work out that much. Then I was tired, I was in pain. I had to keep my leg up most of the time. But I would still do a little ab workout laying on my bed. I would work my abdominals on my bed. Work out my legs a little bit on my bed. Um, I would pick up the weight just sitting on my bed, pick up the weights, doing a little bit here and there. My biggest problem that I have is, is with my triceps. I've always had just just those grandma arms. But I'm going to get it off some way, somehow. Um, that's a hard area when you had a lot of fat, jiggly fat on your... Ugh. But anyway, I would do that. But through the month of June, y'all, I could not work out. So it's like that's when the maintaining comes in. This The maintaining is here. Because you got to figure out a way, whether you hurt yourself, whether, like I said, you are so sick till you can barely move, then you got to attack that diet, get stricter on that diet. That's called maintaining. Anybody can be consistent. You can look on YouTube and Instagram. They're being consistent. They're getting up doing it. But I'm going to tell you what helps you to learn how to maintain as it's a life change and not gain it back over time once you've gotten it all off. How do I do it? How do I keep it off? It's really mean, what you really mean to say is how do I keep it off when I can't work out? How do I keep it off, off when I'm sick, afflicted, injured? How do I keep it off, excuse me, after giving birth? How do I keep it off when I am so distraught? I am so down and out. How do I keep it off? I'm homeless now. How do I keep it off? I can't go to the gym. That's really what people want to say, but I don't think they know that consciously. Because if ain't nothing bad happening, you good. You going to the gym or you working out at home. Hey, you got it going on. It's a lifestyle change. And it will come a time that some something will hit you. Hit your family, hit your wallet, hit your pockets. Now, I'm not looking for sympathy, but let me tell y'all that I'm at a point right now in my life this year to where I have to depend on this, to where I have to use my mind, my brain to maintain, to make myself get up. My bank account, and I'm not looking for sympathy. I'm not looking for nobody to feel sorry for me, but the shit has hit the fan. My bank account is in a negative. I owe my car note. I am about to hit the end of the grace period on my car note in a few days. My car insurance is due. My account is in a negative. Did I say that? Feeling distraught because, you know, you work so hard, whether it's for your business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're working corporate, if you a McDonald's worker, I have a degree that I got during the pandemic in healthcare administration. You think they calling me right now? My daughter's about to start school. I homeschool and I'm having issues with the babysitter. We ain't gonna go there. So now I'm having to say, turn down jobs. She's, I'm trying to get her into an after school swimming program. She's ready to learn to swim. And it's like, well, I ain't going to take her swimming. So I'm like, okay, I get a job in the evening. Now what? 
You see what I'm saying? I'm y'all, I'm so stressed out. We need our hair trim. I don't got the money for that. I'm telling you. So a lot of people come to y'all when they're doing good and they positive and stuff. And everything is going up and everything is going good. Somebody was telling people, you're giving up because of the food. You're giving up because it's no, it ain't. You're giving up because life is kicking your ass. That's why you're giving up. But I hate when people get online and start running their damn mouth about shit that they don't know what they're talking about. You can't get online and tell all the potential of thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that the reason why they give up is because they eat some sugar. You can't get online and tell somebody that. A lot of these people done found their little nest egg. They done start making a little money online and now they just running their damn miles. Some of us living lives, it's real out here. So maintaining, how am I maintaining? I'm good until bad shit happen. That's when I gotta maintain. Yep. And I'ma tell y'all right now, prayer is what's keeping me from flipping. Cause a lot of people give up, they put their health aside cause the kids, like I said, issues, work issues, you name it. They schedules change up, stuff start happening. I tear the tread I tore the treadmill up this week. Sitting there, you go to feeling bad, that pain hit your chest, your eyes burning, tears coming out of your eyes. I pray, I get up, I tear the treadmill up. I tear the bike up. That is called maintaining. When I hurt my ankle, I didn't work out till June 3rd. I hurt my ankle. I didn't start working out. I got on the bike though around like the four, like after the 4th of July. And around the 4th of July. And I took my time. I would ride for like 10 minutes. Get off. Just that meant so much because I hadn't really worked out in like over a month, like five weeks, almost five weeks. So just imagine how amazing my body felt. Do y'all know in those five weeks I lost weight? Yes. I stepped on the scale in July and was like, what? So when I did that video and I showed y'all the scale I was at 144, the last like a couple videos ago, that's when I was like, what? That's when I, I, I did that video. I was like, whoa muscle memory is great staying consistent matters when it's hard to stay consistent your body will remember you and pay you back and have your back so right now through everything i'm going through i don't know how i'm gonna pay these bills i don't know where my money gonna come from my phone bill gonna be due i don't y'all i do not know do you hear me that shit hurts when you're not lazy that shit hurt when you got a kid when you ain't got nobody else. That's why people give up. Heartbreak, heartache, sickness, illness. That's called maintaining. So how a person maintains, your diet ain't got to change. You switch it up. Once you learn how to do it and learn how to lose weight, ain't no how do you maintain. I mean, you know, like maintaining as far as food, it's the same thing. Working out, same thing consistency but when you have to maintain that is when the shit hit the fan and it will life gonna happen trials and tribulations will come and i'm sitting here today i'm not crying and i don't feel no pain right now because i'm telling y'all the truth that's when you have to learn how to maintain after you have gained the lifestyle change you have lost weight you have implemented it it's in here and you're doing good. And then, boom. We've experienced death. I lost my grandfather. My dad's sister passed away. My cousin just lost his wife. He blanked out at the wheel. Up by the graveyard. Went over the ravine. She got knocked out the car. We had a funeral. Last week. They had to cut him out the car. They had to cut their son out the car. 
46 years old. You see what I'm saying? Thank God I am here today. Thank God my leg healed. There will be a better tomorrow. You see what I'm saying? That's called maintaining. When I say I'm tearing the treadmill up and going in and doing this, it's because when that pain get to hit me, when I go to feeling sad and down and out, it's hard to fight man in the bed. It's hard to fight when you just sitting there. Get up and tap. Go not go not throw them damn weights. That's called how do you maintain it? People ask me, how do you maintain it? My mom said, You maintain it good. She said that like um about a couple weeks ago. She said, You doing good, maintain it, girl. You maintaining your way good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because, of course, I could be consistent. I've been consistent. That's how I lost over 100 pounds. But how is somebody maintaining that? That's what the gurus ain't talking about. Because, again, it, everybody want to be cute. Everybody wants some damn money. Save your money, honey. Use it for times like this. Spend it on good food. Bulk foods. I buy in bulk now. So when times like this come, baby, I got good, healthy food to eat. I have been praying so hard. My sister praying, my cousin praying, my homeboy praying, people praying for me. And so I said to myself, okay, let's stay consistent here. Because I know what the word of God said. Asking you shall receive. Seeking you shall find. But one thing I'm not going to do. Is in the next couple months. Stand in the mirror. Stand on the scale. And regret. Not maintaining. When I tell y'all. I'm going through right now. I'm going through. But it's somebody doing worse. All I got to do is go to Walmart right now. I can go to the beach. It's too many people at the beach. I'm a local. I grew up here. I don't want to be there. I like going next month. I like when we go on when we start school. Everybody starts school next week. Then I go in the mornings. But I bet you it's people out there big as, big as a well. Working out helps you to feel better. It, getting on that treadmill ain't going to put a million dollars in my wallet. But you know what? It's going to help me feel better by myself. It's going to help me get up and move. I came out here today to sit here. This is my special space. Special, happy, my happy place. I usually be down further, but it was some people down there. And then all along this, all along the river. We got so many rivers here because I'm on Lake Michigan. But that's called maintaining. So when people are telling y'all to maintain, do this, no, you have to learn how to be consistent first. And you experience the consistencies and the lifestyle change. But then, how to maintain it, you only really have to maintain it when shit hit the fan, like I said. That's when you have to do it. I have cried so many times in the past couple weeks. But it wasn't, it was it through prayer. I cried in prayer. Instead of whining, on, whining and, 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 and hollering and crying about it to other people. I talked to a couple people about it. But... I pray about it because it's not easy it's not it is not y'all I have to work out today I didn't work out earlier I didn't feel like it and plus I don't live alone and so it's a bunch of going on at home so I don't know maybe a little bit later on if, if it's quiet enough and everybody minding their business I'll work out, but I know I'll, I definitely will work out tonight. You know, I'll work out tonight. And that's weight training. I mean, that's strength training. I'm going to do strength training. And a little weight training, too. I do that in my room with the door closed. And, and each day, I feel myself getting a little sad. I just have to pray. But that's called maintaining. So when I'm asking somebody how they maintain it, I don't mean what the hell they eating. You already lost weight. You already probably losing weight. 
But how are you maintaining it? You know what I'm saying? Not what motivates you. Motivation comes and goes, honey. But how to maintain, meaning how to maintain that, to, to how to stay consistent. How to maintain this lifestyle change. Because life changes. Getting healthy, fitting in shape does not mean one day you won't be broke. <laughs> that does not mean one day this won't happen or that won't happen. But that's another reason why I'm glad I didn't have to have an accountability partner paying people out of my pocket to tell me shit I already know. That's why it's good to learn to do it on your own. Because guess what? All those people is not going to be there to help you with all this other stuff in life that comes along and that happens. They're not going to be there to help you with that. Like I said, you watching a lot of people online, child, they feeling they self... Glory be to God for them. They got their little, they making their little money. That's cool. That's cool. And then you got the toxic, toxic positivity people. And then you got the people that just don't know how to respond and throwing scripture at you. You got to learn how to maintain on your own. Somebody husband might pass away. Not just divorce. Somebody husband got to pass away. She gets sad down and out, get big as a house. And in and, and her time, she might, she might live 40 more years. 60 more years, who knows? You know what I'm saying? Life goes on. So how I maintain is here. Nothing else matters. Maintaining is here. Once you got that weight off, it's about this. Because life gonna happen. We watching too many people online and ain't none of them telling you what I'm telling you. Ain't none of them telling you that. They want you to give them the money. Most of the time, you're looking at these people online, child, they was not obese to begin with. You looking at these women now? I don't care what age they are, cause somebody I don't care if they're forty. I'm over forty. They not. They ain't that big. They lose twenty pounds. Like yeah, uh, uh, uh. No, I like to see the big, big obese people. And there will be setbacks. But you ain't finna gain three and four pounds in no one day. So sometimes you will have a little setback with your eating. Drinking, you know, some people drink alcohol. You know, cut. I was, I mean, I say that, you know, cut the alcohol in the, um, out as much as possible. But there will be times people drink. So what? Once you got it, once you done drinking, go back to being consistent. Go back to being consistent. That's all. Go back to being consistent. But I can, I'm gonna be honest with you. I cannot do it without God helping me without me praying because of this you know you'll start internalizing your problems your financial problems and every other problem that you have and then it'll affect this but you know what you bitter you sad you ain't working out no more you don't care like I said I know somebody right now he was doing good but then what happened was he had a few setbacks. He wanted to be a um, um, a trainer or whatever. Well, I think he was doing it, but he had to get the license. Um, something happened. He was a few points off. Just take it again. Do it later. He gave up. Not only did he give up, it's like, okay, you could train people on your own. People do hell without licenses. True. You still could have kept going to the gym. That person gave up on their own consistency. They did not stay consistent. They didn't maintain it through that little mishap. Gave up on his self. Stop working out. And stop eating right. Big as an ox. Sitting there. Drinking. Being, just all that kind of stuff. That helped me. I don't want to do that. Because life goes on. Things change. Things can get better. I was. I said I had to make this video for y'all. Because this is the truth. If, if, if the truth has ever been the truth. I promise you. I'm going through right now. But I'm telling you. How to maintain your consistency. After you lose it. And when you're losing weight. If you had those little minor setbacks. Of eating some crap you shouldn't. 
You not finna gain weight. That, you ain't finna gain all that weight in one day and one weekend. You will gain more weight on your period. My period don't want to go away now. I had a bump so big on my face it finally started to come through. I popped the crap out of it today. It's so ugly I put a bandaid on it. Hair shedding like a mug. You know what I'm saying? But to God be the glory. At this point. At this point. So the next time I come up on here, I truly believe that the prayers that I have prayed and the prayers that people have prayed for me gonna give me a testimony that I'm gonna be up here yelling and y'all gonna be clapping. Read Psalm 20. I've been reading Psalm 20. I ain't no missionary, deacon, deaconess, mother's boy, none of that. Denomination kind of get on my nerve, but God is God, honey. And I know he's, he's, he's got to work in my favor. He has to. I done prayed it, and I believe it. And the next time y'all see me, and I don't make a lot of videos, because like, like I said, I'm not coming to y'all with no BS. I ain't coming to y'all with no lies. But other than that, I'm maintaining, eating the same. I do like being in an area that I'm in because I, I we stay a little further out. So I go down the street to the farm. We've been going to the farm, just getting fruits and vegetables fresh instead of going to the store getting little packages of it. And it's still good at the store, but we get bushels of it. Because my relatives, they've gotten older, they don't have their big, big gardens anymore. My cousin done started her garden, but she does the garden boxes in the yard, not to tear up her yard. Plus, our winters are kind of long. So, you know, it's long. But we go right to the farm. You know what I'm saying? It is going to work out better. And when God do it, he do it better. You having problems just changing your lifestyle, getting healthy with the whole health and fitness thing. Check this. Check this. Because that's what it is. And I don't mean it in a negative. But life happens. I ain't trying to be funny when I was saying that um, I know li living, I know as a black woman in America, I know it's harder for us because the health industry never gave a damn about us. My great grandma and them used to say that. My grandma used to say that. All my aunts, older women I knew would say that. They done passed, some of them done passed on and they ain't not lying. Take your health in your own hands and stop letting people take your money. Ain't nothing wrong with a little workout little trainer ain't nothing wrong with that but until you you have to take the initiative but just know that maintaining is just maintaining your consistency the only reason you have to maintain to begin with is because things change you see what i'm saying you could take a professional athlete look at what happens to some of them life happens right Guess what? They don't maintain it when the life happens. They work out. They go to the gym. They do the consistent thing. But how do you maintain that consistency when ain't shit going in your favor? Because life goes on. God is still God. And we still here. So when I come back to y'all next time, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to have a different testimony to tell you. But just know that to me, and this is just my opinion. But it ain't opinion, it's a fact, because it's happening right now. I am maintaining through this, y'all. I don't get depressed and go pick up a pan of lasagna. I'll tell the I was stomping on the treadmill yesterday. And running. How you ever heard somebody stomp and run? I said, let me slow down. Well, I tell this mess up. It's already old. Like everything going against you. Then fine. I'm just going to be in my own little corner, my own little chair, my own little world. Because it is what it is. But um, I wanted to come and talk to y'all about that. I want them to come all oh, stay consistent. Work. Yeah, you can work out. Yeah, you can do this. Yeah, you can do that. But maintaining, how do you maintain through the bullshit? That's what I wanted to talk to y'all about. So use that anger, use that depression, use whatever comes your way that brings you down, that tries to stop you, that hurt you. 
Take that and throw it at the workout equipment. Take that and tighten your diet up. Because you already know what's going on. You're being attacked. You are being attacked. And so I take it out on the workout equipment. I could go right now and be like, ooh, I'm sad. I just want some ice cream. I don't want no dog on ice cream. I don't broke out enough as it is. So it is. I'm going to go home, go right back home and mind my business when I'm done. Because the prayer that I've been praying, and I believe it's going to work. I'm telling you that right now. Wait right good till I'm almost done paying for my little car off. And my car ain't brand, brand new. I got it in 2019, but I'm almost done paying. And then this happened. I owe everybody. But to God be the glory. I'll talk to y'all next time.